She went out in 34-2 under today, so she's got herself up into a tie for seventh. But if there is to be someone apart from Hunter Jang holding the trophy, this might be the player. Ninety-three for Shen Shen high in the air again. It's hanging. It looks a much better shot. Oh, just Stay doesn't there. catch the top, but it's stayed on the slope so far. And the way that wind's blowing, she better run up and mark that quick. <laughs> at the fourth, after those matching birdies between first and second, at the second hole, Chan Chan looking to get one when Hunter wasn't able to. Had a good angle in here to this pin cut over on the right-hand side at four. Came up with a beauty. She made a birdie. Hunter made a par, and she, she's in good company, making seven at six today. Lydia Ko made seven at the sixth hole. And there have been a few big numbers on that hole throughout the week. Pass over for Shan Shan. And she sees her main rival disappear into the distance. Taken a long time to decide which club this is hanging out to the right. Looks good. Looks good for distance. The door opens up just a little then, but it would need to. Just clarifying Hunter Jang, 19 under par with those back-to-back -back birdies at five and six. And losing ground on the leaders. Shan Shan Fung on the seventh. Well, as you'd expect from Shan Shan Fung, always hits a loads of greens in regulation. No different out here this week. But as a general rule, it's always her putting that lets her down. She gives herself so many opportunities to make birdie. Always hitting those fairways. Look at that great ball striking day yesterday. 16 greens, 11 fairways, and just the 29 putts. So this is the part of the game that has given her troubles recently. Well, is it going to be that kind of day again for Shan Shan Fung? She's probably going to pull one back on Hana Jang, but had the opportunity of a two-shot swing there. When you're spotting your main rival eight shots, bad news is they're 11 shots back from the leader. But, as we said, there'll be a battle within a battle. As Shan Shan hopefully tidies up and makes her par, and Hana will do something similar from a similar distance because there's all sorts of money up for grabs we've got a two million dollar pool here this week not only that there's points for the right opportunity here for shan shan i love the way you say breeze pete it's blowing a gale the rain's coming in she's tight left it's going to be good it will kick back out to the fairway it's a narrow raising awareness for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. They've been raising a good amount of money this year. 92 for Shen Shen. She's just seen He Young fly it way past the flag. This is looking much better. Oh, coming up shy. Well, that's usually what happens. That's a pretty good spot to be. Well, it's only about 12 feet or so. So, yet again, advantage Shen Shen. She was able to take it to the tune of one shot on the previous hole. And who knows, it was eight shots, it's now seven, could easily be six after they walk. Shan Shan must be a bit deflated after what she's just seen from Anna Jang, thinking that the door was open. Well, she got the, her part of the bargain done, that's all she can do. Leave Hannah to her own devices and do what I can. And the margin is four under par on the front nine, three under par on the back nine before today's round began. And so then, after a fair old wait, our final group can get things underway at their ninth hole. Wind just gusting a little bit out here. This is what making it so difficult today. Misty rain coming back in. It's coming from their left a little bit into them now this is well down the left hand side it might just catch it's moving out no it stayed in the rough <coughs> she's now 
now they're working out where they can drop it. Now on the other side of the fairway in the rough, it's sitting down a little bit for Shan Shan and it's got a little bit wet and it's thick. She has one, two, four to the front, one, six, three. She's going with six iron. Oh, it's come out low. Oh, no. Oops, missed it. Look, it's, you know, she just hacked it out, basically. It's just short of the green, but uh, that could have been a bit of disaster there. It was a pretty daring play as well, uh, trying to cover that water. Obviously, that came out a little right of where she was aiming. But... Had one coming across the slope, and she hasn't got it within 18 inches. But the conditions are really tough out there now. Throwing this all the way to the flag. Good looking shot. Can it run it out? Well, it was certainly tracking. <laughs> and why not smile? That's very well done. So the gap goes back to five. Game on. We know how quickly things can change in the wonderful game of golf. Six at the... That bunker, which she did, so just staring at it and that a bit longer. Other ball on the fairway belonged to Shan Shan Fang, who moments ago played this shot. Order. It doesn't want to get too heavy out here because we might have some problems, but uh, very soft conditions now. Well, it's a real testament to course superintendent Dennis Lee, who's been doing such a great job keeping this uh, course as playable under these conditions. Yeah. Yeah, get some help. Okay, Shane Shane, the next to go, just 106. Contact is good. Line. It's just hanging a little bit. Looks good though. Very good from there. Well, if she's going to go down, she's not going to go down without a fight from what she's shown us so far on this Sunday. She's going to keep Hana Jang honest all today, so top pin position. Here's a big moment in this golf tournament. Close the gap by one more. This has been an exceptional chase from Shan Shan Fung. Remember, the gap was eight not that long ago. And now it's going to be in all likelihood four. And she's played well coming into this tournament, Shan Shan Fung. It is a good little par for the 11th today. It is playing at 375 yards longer than yesterday. And where the players are landing, the fairway really has been cut in. So it's tough off the tee. And then it's proving today to be very demanding for the second shot as well, especially with the hole all the way on that back plateau. Only three birdies recorded so far. So ideally, you've got to get it on the fairway to begin with to give yourself a chance to get the right yardage and good control with the approach. Good solid contact by Shen Shen, and this is perfect. Center of the fairway, playing rock solid golf. It's good stuff such are the changes in the conditions that the 11 or so ago this was Shan Shan Fung's approach to 11 in worsening weather she has put her foot straight down to the floor over the last few holes and says if I'm going to win I have to come up with shots like this
Chan Chan's just doing all of the right things, isn't she? In order to you know, start pegging Hana back a little bit, you have to apply the pressure and force the mistakes. And, and it does come into your mind when you're in a situation like this, having someone not to be. Well, this is huge, not in length, but in importance. She's been able to whittle away the lead. Can she get it back to three? Bring some sort of chase. And so it goes on. Three birdies in the last four holes from Shan Shan Fung and the eight shot. Electing to lay up Shan Shan Fung. Just a lot of wind. It's okay. And that's the left witch, her cat. Seven and nine. And since then, this player has put her under the most enormous of pressure. So leading by eight after six holes. Now as they stride the 12th fairway, the lead is back to three. And Shan Shan is making a remarkable charge. See if she and Mercer have got the sums spot on. She's been dancing it all around the flag with her irons of late. Down. Airmail. Yeah, I think it just bounces. It's one over. Thank you. Yeah. And what a brave shot. shot. So now then, Chan Chan, in not as difficult a position, has to come up with a clever shot of her own. You can call that clever. How cool is this, getting to see two of the best characters on tour start a duel on the, the final nine holes here in Taipei. Hana Jiang might have to bring out her samurai sword that she had at the very the lowest round of the day, alongside Jennifer Song, who is... Well, you're right with the nationality. Bit, she was Spanish, she was close. Shan Chan has been superb coming into the turn and around the corner. It's been spectacular iron play. Just horrendous conditions. And it certainly did the face of Hana Jang on the 11th changed dramatically. I think it dawned on her at 10 how close Shan Chan was getting. She's got 120 front. And then the hole is plus 21. Okay. Look nice. at that flat. I mean, how do you stop that coming over the bunker? There's a Come. downhill slope, a, a roaring gale behind you. It, it's nearly impossible. I'll save a required. Yesterday we saw her hitting it close and setting up that length of putt for a birdie today. Very different conditions, but it's going to be Shan Shan's honour. Just slightly further away. Three shots the difference between these two players, both of these putts for par. As good as she's been and as much momentum as she's had, it can stall in a heartbeat. So 
So she has to keep on producing the results she's been able to do in recent holes. And still she applies the pressure to Hana Jang. A good up and down there from Shen Shen. It's only disappointing that the wind got hold of that uh, second shot in. She was right. 37 of measures today, but it'll still be tough in these conditions. Yes, doesn't make the shot in any easier. 119 to the front, 137. You come up the hill a little bit. That big daunting left bunker all the way up to the green. Green sits front right into the back left. If you're a little too long, that little bunker on the right comes into play as well. You can see the pin just tucked over the big point of that uh, longest front bunk. And the next one's a similar predicament for Park. Yes, it is. Shen Shen's iron plane, I think that's rain coming down there. Shen Shen's iron plane has been uh, quite spectacular. Most of today, she's played some amazing shots in these incredibly difficult conditions. This one's headed right, similar line to He Young. And it is the bunk cap for Shan Shan. I've got to tell you that it's just started to rain a little bit more heavily out here. And the problem with these shots is the fact that the wind isn't just going in one direction. It's, it's basically one direction. But the gusts are incredible. And, and I did the same on 11. I stood there throwing grass up in the air and it just kept going in so many different ways. I can hit the 8 a.m. but it's a really tight. You know, 8 a.m. Well, these players, you're always on mic. It's been a big story in the, the world news this weekend. Every mic is live. <laughs> what about Shan Shan's day? It's been an exceptional one. She must have been crossing her fingers at the start of the day. When she was six back, she knew that she would need absolutely everything to go right. She made par at the first, and then she would see Hannah make her birdie at the second. She had to make one of her own. She was able to do that, and so the status quo had been maintained. Trying to close that deficit six at the beginning of the day, so a great birdie early on. Shan Shan from the ideal position on the fairway. Attacking green and the pin at four. And that got her converted that part, got her to two under through four holes. And then the short par four eighth played a really nice shot here. Downwind, it was tough to get it below the flag. She did that. Rolled it straight in the center. Brian play was really something. And that meant the margin was six, so it was still where it was at the start of the day. She was continuing to put her foot down as Hannah was just feeling the strain a little bit. That was outstanding. Locked onto the flag and she would go on and make her par at the ninth. Out in 34. Once again, giving herself the opportunity to get close. A great drive on the right side of the fairway and an exquisite iron that we've grown so accustomed to seeing from Shan Shan Fan. Another birdie. Then on to the very next hole, the 11th. Well, it's a very difficult pin, this back one. It's on its own little plateau. Hard to get it all the way back there. But look at this. Another spectacular iron and rolled that one, and she was really putting the foot down. And that cut the deficit to just three shots through 11 holes. In the space of five holes, the gap was reduced by five shots. Out of the sand at the par 3 14th. And the galleries are
taking in every step of this great contest. Force wins. And now Shan Shan to get up and down and in all likelihood to stay within three. She's coming from the other side of the damage to the hole, so it's not really going to affect okay. her. That is a very good up and down. Hannah's likely to do a similar thing, and so is He Young. Or fist bump from Mercer. What was the wildlife story, Sandy? No, just uh, prior to you coming to me for the web. To her, that will be a moment that she will never forget as she played with some of the very best players in the world. Here is one of them, Shan Shan Thun, high on the hill with her tee shot coming at 15. She is three shots back with four holes to play. The wind is really gusting right now. It's at least two clubs. Shan Shan with driver. This one headed up the right centre. Oh, a lot of hang time on this. Still hasn't come down. Might catch that right first cup. Oh, I think that nestled down in that big stuff. Yeah, I think it might have done Ali. It's nestled down in the grass. We will take a look at this 15th hole. And you are so elevated up on the tee, just 333 yards, but straight into a gale. The ball is going to hang for a long time, but you need to find the fairway because the rough is thick, both left and right. Then you come to a green that nearly sits side on to you, front right into that back left, but the water all the way across the front. And the pin today is tight on this front corner. Now, most of the players will try and play a little right of the flag because, of course, the wind is blowing straight down there. So. She's done a fair bit of chipping in recently. She likes chipping in, and that's a good time to do it. Wow, that was really something. And, and we've seen her do this a few times over the last couple of weeks. She has a fantastic short game. Very good at this little pitch and run. Never was going anywhere else but centre and hitting the flag. And now that puts severe pressure on Hana Jang because she's... Yeah, this one just headed up the right-hand side. Should find the fairway from Shan Shan. Yeah, it does that. Ali didn't go very far. Towards the short 17th as we head back to second shots at 16. Well, coming in from this right side, takes all the bunkers and everything even out of your view, Nelly. Can she get it on the green? The short pin downwind. This is a wedge from 129 for Shan Shan, headed wow. short right. Yeah, it is short right, but not far up. It should be the most basic of the pitches for Shan I think it's important that caddy and player keep the same sort of mindset that she is so used to doing. Because that's the way she plays her best golf, and to laugh and smile and have a bit of a joke. That keeps the pressure out of the shoulders sometimes for her, whereas Shan Shan is a very different player. That's not the way she plays her best. She plays best in business mode, and this is what she's doing today. Just talking about player caddy, watching her and Mercer out there together. I mean, they've been together for quite some time. They are really quite a team. Leaving the flag in. On the low side, never really um, gave it a chance, but she'll tap that in for her part. Just look at how wild that is out there. It's a sport that the chase is one thing, the catch is another, but the pass is an entirely different thing. And how about two the difference, two to play. This is a five iron for Shan Shan. The wind's just switched, so it's right back into her at the moment. And there is a wall of rain headed our way. It's 150 to the pin. Contact sounded good. This is ballooning right. Be surprised if it caught the green and does catch that back edge. And she'll still be putting. 
going down the scores, Pete, too. Another one who's made a significant move is Chinese player Jing Yan. She started the day at plus 16. Worse. There's only been seven players who haven't made their part. So even if we give Hana Jang the worst score, that means if she can par here and Shan Shan pars, then Shan Shan is going to have to make eagle up the last to get in the playoff. So this is massive what's about to happen now. Now, if Shan Shan could manage to roll in a big putt from here, and she's uh, very capable of doing that, it would uh, make Hana Jang's just a lot longer. Yeah, it's a real moment for Shan Shan Fung to apply some pressure. She's been doing it all day, just breathing down Hana Jang's neck. Bogies at 15 and 17 haven't helped Alison Lee today. So if she's going to win, this would take one big step towards it. It's back up the hill. It will move right to left for the last eight feet. Left to right, I should say. This one never looked like it had a chance. And just a little tester coming back too. I think test is a nice word for it. <laughs> yeah, that'll get your knees knocking. Well, Shan Shan can afford to be aggressive anyhow because, I mean, she's safely in second place. So. Up ahead at 18, Sakura Yokomine. First round leader when she shot a really good round on the opening day. And she'll come from underneath the hole to have a look at a birdie there and the final hole but this is where the main game is and now effectively the Chan Chan has missed Hannah knows that she's got two putts to be in relatively safe territory yeah to uh, go down the 18th with the two shot lead is uh, way more comfortable a huge smile of relief more than anything Just enough to get you interested here for Shan Shan Fung. I hope she holds it because she doesn't deserve to have to go to the 72nd tee three shots behind with what she's been able to put up today. It's been brilliant. Yeah, well, and she's really, I mean, she's been spectacular and she's really entertained and she's given us a real tournament on this last day. So in all likelihood, she knows that she's going to have to make Eagle. Then again, she's not bad at making Eagle at the 72nd. Finish, Pete. It all comes down to this 18th hole. And the obvious, of course, is the water all down the left-hand side. But also the rough has been grown in quite a lot on this left-hand side. So you can get caught up in some fairly nasty stuff. The same on the right. No fairway bunkers, but find the fairway. Now, they've shortened this a bit today, but it's heavy, heavy conditions. A lot of players will play out to the right, sort of around that 75 uh, yard area up to the 50 and just have a short pitch in. The pin today is in the front, it's nine on and in the centre. But it's going to be very interesting to see if Shan Shan can set herself up in a position where maybe she can have a crack at this. She needs eagle and it may still not be enough. Yeah, Shan Shan has to hit the fairway, and I think she's done it, splitting the middle with this one. Well, that's a beauty, and it's actually got a little bit of run down there as well, so puts herself, uh, well, in a position where pitch and putt. Now for Shan Shan, this is a big shot for her. Well, this is the glory shot. In all likelihood, she's going to need eagle. It's a three hybrid in hand. One eighty eight to the pin. This is tracking straight at it. No, oh, caught the bunker, Ali. So they have just stopped really 
any hope, although Hannah's not there yet, but uh, she really needed that to be clear and, and be very close to or if not on this green. Interesting start. We had a bit of a shaky moment in the middle there, but she's been solid through this back nine. Shan Shan, on the other hand, has just tried her heart out today. She's played some spectacular golf. She is five under the card today on what has been a demon out there and you've got to maintain the optimum level to get down there and close the gap and as it turns out it's probably going to prove too much shan shan has been pacing her shot so we know now that she is going to need a minor miracle this is going to have to go in we've seen her ability to hold shots that you don't think are holdable over the last couple of weeks. Now's the time to do it one more time, just to give herself some hope. Just not quite comfortable over that ball. Might be a little bit, seemed like a bit of a gust of wind seemed to blow up then, so just get herself settled again. Oh, look at that flag go now. And Hannah Jane was not even looking at that. And she would have been waiting for the roar and it nearly came. What? A spectacular shot and what an attempt. She gave that everything she had. It's, look, it's going to be a birdie. It's going to be a six under par round in these conditions, 66. And that is extraordinary with the weather we've had today. What a great challenge that was. Turned what looked like a walk in the park into a real battle.